Lesson 11, 11th Lesson, Time, Days, Month, Seasons. On page 77 there is a picture of a clock. It has a round face with figures on it, and two hands, a long hand and a short hand. The short hand points to the hours, the long hand points to the minutes. Some clocks have three hands, a long hand, a short hand, and a very short one to point to the seconds. We can tell the time by a clock or watch. A clock is big, it is generally on the wall, or it stands on the table or over the fire. A watch is small. We can put one in our pocket or wear it on the wrist. Some clocks are very big, for example, Big Ben, the clock, footnote, Big Ben, is really the bell, not the clock, on the Houses of Parliament in London. The minute hand of Big Ben is 14 feet long, and the hour hand is 9 feet long. You can hear Big Ben every night on the wireless at 9 o'clock. At that hour its sound goes out all over the world. Teacher, look at the picture of a clock on page 77. Can you tell the time, Mr. A? Mr. A, yes, I can tell the time. Teacher, what time is it by this clock? Mr. A, it is one o'clock. Teacher, the minute hand moves to one. What time is it then, Mr. A? Mr. A, it is five minutes past one, or five past one. Teacher, quite right. Now the minute hand moves to two. What time is it then, Mr. B? Mr. B, ten minutes past one, or ten past one. Teacher, very good. Now the minute hand moves again, this time to three. Mr. C, it is then a quarter past one. Teacher, correct. Miss D. Can I say it is 1.15? Teacher, yes, you can say 1.15, 1.30, or 1.45, a quarter past, half past, or a quarter to. We generally say that for the times of trains or aeroplanes, e.g. I come on the 9.15 train every morning. It gets into London at 9.45. Miss E. When can I say, pass, and when can I say, to a teacher, who knows the answer to that? Miss F, I can answer that, I think. Teacher, very well, Miss F, what is the answer? Miss F, we say, pass, at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. We say, 2, at 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Teacher, that is quite correct, Miss F. Mr. A, how can you show the difference between 12 o'clock in the day and 12 o'clock at night? Teacher, who can give the answer to that? Mr. B, I can. 12 o'clock at night is midnight after that we use the letters AM, e.g. 12.10 AM. Mr. C, what is the meaning of AM, please? Teacher, Miss D, can you tell Mr. C? Miss D, yes, AM is a short form of the Latin words anti-meridium, meaning, before noon. Teacher, that's very good, Miss D. Now what is 12 o'clock in the daytime, Miss E? Miss E, 12 o'clock in the daytime is noon, or, midday. After that we use the letters PM, for example, 1.45 PM. Teacher, that is quite correct. Now, Miss F, what is the meaning of PM? Miss F, PM is a short form of the Latin words post-meridium, meaning, afternoon. Teacher, that is very good. Now look at these three clocks. The right time is four o'clock. What gay about the middle clock, Mr. A? Mr. A, the clock in the middle is right. It is telling the correct time. Teacher, Good. Now, Mr. B, you speak about the clock on the left. Mr. B, the clock on the left is not right. It is not telling the correct time. It is five minutes slow. Teacher, that's right. Now, Mr. C, you speak about the clock on the right. Mr. C, the clock on the right is incorrect, too. It is not telling the right time. It is five minutes fast.
Teacher. Very good. Now, Miss D. Go round the clock, please, giving all the five minutes from two o'clock to half past two. Miss D, five past two, ten past two, a quarter past two, twenty past two, twenty-five past two, half past two. Teacher, good. Now, Miss E, go on half past two to three o'clock. Miss E, half past two, twenty-five to three, twenty to three, a quarter to three, ten to three, five to three, three o'clock. Teacher, what time is it by the school clock, Miss F? Miss F, it is a quarter to four. Teacher, what time is it by your watch, Mr. A? Mr. A, by my watch it is twelve minutes to four. Teacher, and what time is it by your watch, Mr. B? Mr. B, by my watch it is eighteen minutes to four. Teacher, now, Miss F, the school clock is right. What can you say, then, about Mr. A's watch and Mr. B's watch? Miss F, Mr. A's watch is three minutes fast, and Mr. B's watch is three minutes slow. Teacher, thank you, Miss F. You are quite right. Days, months, seasons. There are seven days in a week. They are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The first six are weekdays. Sunday is not a weekday. The day before today is yesterday. The day after today is tomorrow. There are twelve months in the year. The names of the months are January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. The seasons in England are spring, March, April, May, summer, June, July, August, autumn, September, October, November, winter, December, January, February. Grammar. In the forms, Mr. A's watch John's book, the boys' football, you have examples of the possessive case. With singular nouns we add an apostrophe, and s. With plural nouns ending in s we add only the apostrophe. Singular. The boys' football, equals the football of the boy. The girl's dress, equals the dress of the girl. The king's son, equals the son of the king. Plural. The boys' football, equals the football of the boys. The girls' dresses, equals the dresses of the girls. The king's sons, equals the sons of the kings. With plural nouns not ending in s we add an, an s. There are only a few nouns with plurals not ending in s. Here are three examples. Singular. Plural. The man's suit. The men's suits. The woman's dress. The women's dresses, the child's bucket and spade, the children's buckets and spades. Phrases to tell the time. What time is it? For example, five minutes fast, five minutes slow. What is the meaning of on the right, in the middle? 14 feet long, all over the world. Show the difference between, quite right, quite correct, very good, instead of round. Note the two meanings of round. 1. There are flowers round the door. P.42. Go round the clock. P.79. 2. The clock has a round face. P.76. In 1. Round is a preposition. In 2, it is an adjective. Feet. Feet is the plural of foot. There are two meanings of foot. You can see them in these sentences. 1. The boy kicks the ball with his foot. It is a football. 2. The piece of paper is a foot long. A foot equals 12 inches equals 30.48 centimeters. Second. Note the two meanings of second. 1. 
This is a second lesson. 2. There are 60 seconds in a minute. Word study. Numbers. Cardinal numbers. Ordinal numbers. Fractions. 1. First. 2. Second. A half. 20. Twentieth. A twentieth. 3. Third. A third. 13. Thirteenth. A thirteenth. 30. Thirtieth. A thirtieth. 4. Fourth. A quarter. A fourth. 14. Fourteenth. A fourteenth. 40. Fortieth. A fortieth. 5 fifth a fifth 15 fifteenth a fifteenth 50 fiftieth a fiftieth 6 sixth a sixth 16 sixteenth a sixteenth 60 sixtieth a sixtieth 7 seventh a seventh 17 seventeenth a seventeenth 70 seventieth a seventieth 8 8th and 8th 18 18th and 18th 80 80th and 80th 9 9th and 9th 19 19th and 19th 90 90th and 90th 10 10th a 10th a hundred hundredth a hundredth a thousand thousandth a thousandth a million millionth a millionth Be careful with these words. Er, uh, again, a clock, parliament, difference, correct, e, between, wrist, minute, difference, or, quarter, daughter, before, morning, forty, or, watch, a clock, pocket, apostrophe, long, Exercise 1. What time, in words, is, 1 to 5, 2, 10, 2, 15, 3, 20, 5, 25, 7, 30, 9, 40, 10, 35, 11, 45, 12, 55, 6, 50? Exercise 2. What time, in figures, is, a quarter past three? Half past five, a quarter to six, twenty five to nine, twenty to eleven, ten to four, five to nine, twenty to six, twenty five to two. Exercise three. Answer the following questions. Can you tell the time? What time is it? Is it the day or the night? When is it past the hour and when is it to the hour? When is it midnight? When is it noon? What kind of a face has a clock? How many hands has a clock? What are they? What is the difference between a clock and a watch? Where is your watch? Give the name of a big clock. How long are the hands of a Big Ben? Where is Big Ben? When can you hear its sound? What is the meaning of AM and PM? The right time is 7 o'clock. My clock says a quarter to 7. What can you say about it? The right time is 7 o'clock. Henry's watch says 10 minutes past 7. What can you say about it? What are the two meanings of round? Make sentences to show the meanings. What are the teenings of feet? Make sentences to show the meanings. What is a foot in centimeters? Give the names of uh, the days of the week, b, the months, c, the seasons. Exercise 4. Write these in the possessive form, i.e. with s or the watch of Mr. C, the cigarette of the man, the aeroplane of the king, the umbrella of the girl, the room of the girl, the room of the girls, the suit of the waiter, the suits of the waiters, the football of the boy, the football of the boys, the shilling of my mother, the motor car of John, the room of the man, the room of the men, the dress of the woman, the dresses of the women, 
the bucket of the child, the buckets of the children. Exercise 5. Write these in words, 13, 14, 40, 80, 90, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 40th, 8th, 100th, 1 half or 1 quarter, 1 eighth, 1 eightieth, 1 1 millionth. Exercise 6. Use each of these phrases in a sentence, tell the time, on the right, in the middle, instead of quite right, all over the world, for example, 10 minutes slow, a quarter of an hour fast, the difference between Exercise 7. Write about these clocks. Dictation. I can tell the time by the clock. I can tell the hours and the minutes. I can tell when a watch or a clock is slow, or when it is fast. The school clock is at 4 o'clock. My watch says 5 to 4. My watch is 5 minutes slow. Henry's watch says 8 minutes past 4. His watch is 8 minutes fast. 12 o'clock in the daytime is noon. 12 o'clock at night is midnight. Thank you very much for the likes, and subscribe to our channel.